Hello, figure skating fans of USA and the world. Welcome to another exciting episode of Figure Skating Center. Today's episode's all about the 2021 ISU World Figure Skating Championships from Stockholm, Sweden. Let me tell you, it has been the most incredible, incredible week of skating. And I just love the fact that all these skaters came together and supported each other, especially during these crazy, this crazy, crazy figure skating season. We had events being canceled, like the 2020 One Four Continents and Europeans, and the 2020 2021 Grand Prix Final being canceled. We had Grand Prix events canceled. We have virtual competitions. And some events we have very little to no audience, but it has been a trying year, but bravo to all these skaters. I take my hat off to you because you all survived this amazing figure skating season, pandemic or not. Anyway, let's get on to the results of, of the World Championships in Sweden. On the men's side, you have Nathan Chen who was glorious, glorious in the free skate after after finishing third in the free skate. After finishing, after, sorry, after finishing third in the short program. He knew he had a lot of points to make up in the, sh in the short program, after the short program, after that fall on the quad Lutz, but he came back out and he persevered and... That I was watching his free skate and I was literally holding my breath watching him skate. But Nathan, you were incredible. And moving on right on to the Japanese teenage superstar, Yuma Kiyagiyama, the Youth Olympic Champion from 2020. I mean, he won the World Junior title last year and... He skated very two clean programs throughout the whole season, and his in the free skate it was it was amazing, and his celebration dance in the in the kiss and cry area, it was so cute. He was so excited, like, yep, yeah, my first world medal. What color is it gonna be? I don't know. Got to wait after Yuzuru, and Yuzuru hung you. Let me tell you, in the short program, he was in the best shape of his career. But I just, I don't know, like, he didn't have that spark that I didn't saw at the Olympic, at the, in the spark that I saw when I was watching the Japanese nationals and skating. It just, he didn't have the fire today, that fire that, that afternoon. And Jason Brown of the United States finishes in 7th. So, Jason, I love you. I mean, you're a really great skater. I love your components. Another rack of component, component marks and grade of execution. But you gotta, gotta get the quad in. He's gotta, gotta get the quad in there. If he's gonna compete with the top men in the world. But... Overall, it was a great men's competition. And my heart broke in the short program for Vincent Joe of the United States because he, like, didn't qualify for the free skate. I mean, I'm like, oh, my heart just, like, sunk to my stomach. I mean, I really hope Vincent Joe, like, next season, like, gets his act together because next year's the big one. It's the Olympics in 2022. And it may be a second or la second to last chance to get there. But and then I heard that one one entry will be named at the one Olympic spot will be named at the Nablehorn Trophy event, but they probably won't announce it until nationals next year. On to the ladies' event, and it was a it was a ladies' event to remember because for the first time since 1991. When the United States swept the podium, a single country swept the podium. And you have Anna Sherbakova 
of FSR, the Figure Skating Federation of Russia. Elizaveta Tumur and Anna Sherbakova. She had two big quads planned, but fell on the first quad attempt. And she decided to skip out the quad and skate just to focus on skating the rest of the program clean. Which I think it's personally and a great, great strategy. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Dumushkova. I was, I was, despite the mistakes, she still made it to the world podium. I mean, she was literally on, she was literally on today. And she did, and she did an incredible job. And we got to talk about Alexander Drusova. After a disastrous 12th place in the short program, she came out and did five quads. Five quads. That's more than any lady skater is doing right now. Triple axles included. I mean, Plushenko was telling, talking about it, and he's like, Trusova wants to do five quads, and honestly, this is like Nathan Chen level of, of skating with Trusova. I mean, she literally has the Nathan Chen technical content in that free program. And that bumped her from 12th place in the short program all the way to the world podium in third. So, ladies, brought, and also the American girls, Brady Tunnell was a little dis very disappointing because she, when she's on, she's on. But Karen Chen, the day, I'm sorry, that day belonged, the, a lot of the American girls, that day belonged to her, and she, like, literally got the job done. She was selected over Amber Glenn for the World Championships. And I think U.S. Figure Skating Federation, like, because of her experience, made the right strategy. I mean, at first I was against it at first, but I gotta say... U.S. Figure Skating, you were smart on that one. And you played it very strategically to send Karen Chen because she got the four, three spots of the Olympics. So, U.S. Figure Skating, very strategic. On to the Paris event. You have Alex Anastasia Machina and Alexander, Alexander Galiamov. I love the short program to La Esmeralda. And I love, love their free skate to Queen. And the, they were really incredible today. Wen Zui and Kong Hong of China Un, the reigning Olympic silver medalist, they are skating like they want that gold medal in their home country. And they really, really want it bad. And I think in the my prediction in the team event in 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 figure skating, I think the Canadian I think the Chinese are definitely definitely a force to be reckoned with in the pair in the men's in the pair in the team event. And in third place from FSR Figure Skating Federation of Russia, you have Alexandra Burakova and Dmitry Golovzinski. You guys were good. And these guys, like, they had the lead after the short program, but it just ah, it fell apart in the free skate, and it broke my heart. And Alexa Kinnearum and Brandon Frazier and Ashley Kane Gribble and Timothy LeDuc finished 7th and 9th from, and got to Paris two spots for the United States. I mean, I don't know what happened because... They were like 6th and 7th in the standings after the short program. And Kane and LeDuc, Kane Gribble and LeDuc were the top American team. And they had an opportunity to get three spots for pairs the first time since 1994. And I just, I don't know what happened. And it's really frustrating. Because both of them are really talented teams. And, well, I got to give Alexa and... Brandon credit because this is like their first time out since 
This is their first world championships together with, since their former partners retired. And Chris Kinnear is now part of the coaching team. Along with Jenny Mino and Todd Sam. But hopefully they'll get it together for the Olympics and hopefully they'll fight for their spot on the team. And finally, the ice dancing. You have Victoria Sinicia and Nikita Kasalopov with a beautiful, beautiful free skate. I mean, they really brought it today and brought another gold medal for FSR, Figure Skating Federation of Russia. And Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue. Oh, it was just angelic, but it was angelic. And I felt like the scores should have been a little higher because, and I feel like I really think that should have won. So go Team USA on that one. Because no, go Team USA. But the highlight of the night for me were the Canadian team of Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier. Oh, their their pre program is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And Madison Chalk and Evan Bates. I love their Snake Char Snake and Snake Charmer program. But but despite the mistakes, I just didn't have that fire. And not the fire that I'm used to seeing them skate with. And Caitlin Hoenk and John Luke Baker. They did a really, really great job and they actually got They actually did an incredible job, and they were 11th after the free eleventh after their free rhythm dance. But they still pulled it together to get ninth place overall in the in the in the ice to get ninth place in the ice dance, and that secured them three spots as well for the ice dancing. I'm Michael Car for our entire figure skating center crew. For Kelly Carbonara, our executive producer, I'm Michael Carbonara saying, it is great to skate. And to all you YouTube fans, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below and hit the bell for notifications. This has been a presentation of Figure Skating Center brought to you by Kelly's Teacup. The best sip of... The best, the first sip is the best start of the day. Thank you and good night. And I'll see you next season for the Olympic season. Woo! Thank you and so long for now.